Tesla is disbanding its Dojo supercomputing team with its leader, Peter Bannon. Elon Musk promised the world a revolution with Dojo, a supercomputer meant to power AI for self-driving cars and humanoid robots. But why was it abruptly shut down? Did the project fail, or was there a secret plan behind its sudden disappearance? How could a cornerstone of Tesla's AI vision vanish, triggering top engineers to quit and leaving fans bewildered? What does this mean for Tesla's role in AI innovation? When Elon Musk unveiled Dojo back in 2021, it sounded like the kind of tech only a sci-fi movie could imagine. A supercomputer built specifically to train Tesla's AI, designed to help cars drive themselves and maybe even give life to humanoid robots. But what exactly was DOJO, and why did it capture so much attention? At its core, DOJO was Tesla's custom-built AI training machine. Unlike regular computers, it wasn't just crunching spreadsheets or running video games. It was meant to process vast amounts of driving data from Tesla's fleet, learning in real time how to recognize roads, obstacles, pedestrians, and even subtle driving patterns. Musk pitched it as a system that could take Tesla from partially automated cars to fully autonomous vehicles, faster than anyone else could imagine. DOJO wasn't just a single machine either. It was made up of tiles, each containing 25 D1 chips, Tesla's own silicon. Each chip was like a mini brain, and stacking them together created a massive neural network capable of performing huge AI calculations all at once. This was Tesla's way of combining software and hardware in a way that, in theory, could outperform traditional GPU setups. The D1 chip was efficient, purpose-built, and optimized for Tesla's AI workloads. It promised lower latency and higher speed than anything off the shelf. For a moment, it felt like Musk had built the ultimate AI playground. But here's the twist. While Dojo had the potential to be revolutionary, it never actually became central to Tesla's AI operations. The company already had massive AI training systems powered by NVIDIA GPUs, capable of doing the same work Dojo was designed for. In other words, Dojo looked incredible on paper, but Tesla didn't need it to train AI models for its cars. And while the team worked tirelessly to make it a reality, the broader industry was moving fast, and other solutions were already proven and reliable. So, Dojo existed as a highly specialized experiment, impressive but maybe unnecessary in practice. It raised questions about Tesla's strategy, resource allocation, and whether Musk's vision was more about ambition than immediate utility. And this is where the story starts to get even more interesting, because the very reason Musk killed Dojo Dojo isn't just about technology, it's about timing, talent, and a strategic pivot that might reveal Tesla's true play in AI. Next, we'll dig into exactly why Musk decided to pull the plug and what it means for the future of Tesla's AI ambitions. So, what role did DOJO actually play in Tesla's AI plans? On the surface, it looked like the backbone of everything Elon Musk wanted to do with self-driving cars and humanoid robots. Dojo was supposed to be the place where Tesla's neural networks got smarter, faster, and more capable. The idea was simple. Feed it mountains of video data from Tesla vehicles, let the AI learn patterns, and then push updates back to cars worldwide. Musk positioned it as the ultimate training ground for Tesla's AI, a place where cars could, in theory, learn to drive themselves better than any human ever could. But here's the catch. While Dojo had a shiny vision, in reality, it never became the main driver of Tesla's AI. Tesla already had massive training systems running on NVIDIA GPUs, which were proven, powerful, and already integrated into the workflow. In practice, Dojo was almost like a parallel track, an experimental high-risk playground that looked impressive, but didn't actually power the AI in cars on the road. So why invest so heavily in something that wasn't central? That's where Musk's strategy becomes interesting. Do J.O. wasn't just about immediate results, it was about long-term control. By designing a custom supercomputer, Tesla could, in theory, avoid dependency on external chip makers. Musk wanted an in-house solution that could handle all AI workloads, from full self-driving training to robotics research. It was a hedge, a safety net in a world where NVIDIA chips were expensive and sometimes hard to secure. DOJO represented Tesla betting on its own engineering, aiming to build a full-stack AI capability. And yet, the timing of Dojo's shutdown reveals something critical. By mid-2025, Tesla had started scaling AI6 inference chips, a design that could handle both in-car AI processing and potentially training tasks. Suddenly, the original purpose of DOJO, training AI efficiently, wasn't unique anymore. Musk realized that continuing the DOJO would split resources, slow progress, and more importantly, wasn't necessary anymore. The chips Tesla already had could do most of what Dojo was meant to achieve, while also being ready for immediate deployment in cars and robots. In other words, DOJO was ambitious, but the strategy shifted. It went from being the central AI engine 
to being a secondary project, ultimately replaced by a more versatile, scalable approach. And that's the real reason Musk pulled the plug. It wasn't about failure, it was about efficiency, timing, and Tesla putting its bets on the hardware that would matter most right now. Next, we'll break down the talent and personnel side of the story, how key departures from DOJO influence the decision, and what that tells us about Musk's thinking behind killing the supercomputer. Here's where the story takes a turn most people didn't see coming. DOJO wasn't just struggling with tech, it was grappling with people. The team behind Tesla's supercomputer was small, specialized, and incredibly talented. But over time, key engineers started leaving. First, it was a few individuals quietly walking out the door. Then, within months, a significant portion of the core team jumped ship to start a new AI company, Density AI. Even the guy who had designed the original Dojo chips, Peter Bannon, eventually departed. Why does this matter? In a project like Dojo, losing a handful of experts can bring progress to a near halt. These weren't replaceable workers. They were the minds who understood the hardware and software at a level that outsiders could never easily match. Musk himself hinted that personnel decisions were part of the shutdown. But was this purely about performance or something deeper? Experts suggest it was a mix. Tesla was trying to push forward on multiple fronts, building self-driving cars, optimizing AI inference chips, and keeping an eye on humanoid robots. Dojo required undivided attention. When critical team members left, the project's momentum slowed, costs increased, and the risk of continuing continuing became far higher. Musk realized that keeping Dojo alive while simultaneously scaling the AI6 chip in cars and robots was splitting Tesla's resources. Some insiders also point out that internal friction may have played a role. Dojo was ambitious, but ambitious projects breed tension. Competing visions of how to design and scale the supercomputer reportedly caused disagreements among engineers and managers. Combine that with departures, and you've got a recipe for a project that is technically impressive but strategically vulnerable. In the end, the talent exodus didn't just hurt DOJO, it helped define the reasoning behind its cancellation. Musk wasn't just shutting down hardware, he was realigning the team and the resources to focus on what would deliver the most impact immediately. AI chips for Tesla cars and future robotics. Dojo became a luxury the company couldn't afford, not because the tech failed, but because the people driving it were no longer there. Next. We'll dive into how Tesla's shift to AI6 chips made DOJO redundant, and why Musk decided the supercomputer was simply an evolutionary dead end. This is where the picture starts to make sense. While Dojo was struggling with talent and internal friction, Elon Musk and his team were quietly building something else, AI6 chips. These weren't just another set of processors, they were designed to handle inference computing directly inside Tesla vehicles, making self-driving smarter, faster, and more energy efficient. Musk realized that if AI6 could do the work DOJO was meant for, the supercomputer suddenly became less critical. Why does this matter? Tesla doesn't just make cars, it builds an AI ecosystem. Inference chips like AI6 let the software think on the spot, Processing real-world driving data in real time. You don't need a massive supercomputer to send prompts across the internet when the car itself can make the calculations instantly. That's a huge efficiency gain, both in energy and cost. Experts note that the timing was perfect. By 2025, Tesla had already signed multi-billion dollar deals with Samsung to manufacture AI6 chips at scale. These chips weren't limited to vehicles. They could eventually power humanoid robots and even high-performance training and data centers. In Musk's own words, all paths converge to AI6, making DOJO2 an evolutionary dead end. It wasn't about failure. It was a strategic focus. Competitors like NVIDIA and AMD were already dominating AI training with standard GPUs. So Tesla doubling down on inference chips allowed the company to avoid fighting a battle they didn't need. Instead of pouring money into a separate training supercomputer, Tesla could now focus on chips that served multiple purposes, from autonomous driving to robotics, and still maintain high performance without risking delays or overspending. The rise of AI6 shows why DOJO was shelved. It wasn't useless. It was just outpaced by a smaller, smarter solution. Musk realized that keeping both running in parallel didn't make sense. Resources, talent, and capital were too valuable to split. DOJO's architecture might still influence future designs, but AI6 became the new backbone. Next, we'll break down exactly why Musk called Dojo an evolutionary dead end, and what that means for Tesla's AI roadmap going forward. Here's where Elon Musk's thinking becomes crystal clear. In a post that got a lot of people talking, Musk explained why DOJO was shut down. He didn't blame technology, talent, or even timing. He framed it as a strategic choice. According to him, 
All roads were pointing to AI-6 chips, and DOJ-02 had become what he called an evolutionary dead end. That's a bold way to put it, but it tells us something important. Musk isn't afraid to pivot when a smarter solution emerges. Why does this matter? For years, Dojo was seen as Tesla's crown jewel in AI training, but Musk recognized that splitting resources between two radically different chip architectures didn't make sense. Instead of pouring millions into developing a second, unproven system, Tesla could focus on AI-5 and AI-6 six chips that excel at inference while still being capable for training when needed. It's efficiency over ego, and in a company of Tesla's scale, that's huge. Analysts point out that Musk's move also reflects lessons learned from the wider AI market. NVIDIA dominates training chips, AMD and others are strong players, and even giants struggle to control every layer of AI hardware. By pivoting to inference-focused chips that can handle multiple tasks, Tesla avoids a high-risk arms race while still keeping autonomy and robotics development on track. Musk's explanation shows it wasn't a failure. It was a calculated consolidation. Competitors and insiders are watching closely. Some see it as Tesla acknowledging that chasing a full-scale proprietary supercomputer might not pay off. Others argue it shows Musk's ability to hedge bets. Dojo was an ambitious gamble, but AI6 is the practical play. By shifting strategy publicly, Musk reassures investors and engineers that Tesla isn't abandoning AI. It's just streamlining the path forward. In short, Musk made a conscious choice. Focus resources on what works best, cut the parts that don't add real value, and prepare Tesla for the next generation of AI-driven cars and robots. But there's one twist. While Dojo's physical project is over, its design ideas may live on in future clusters or even in other AI ventures. Next, we'll dive into the real, behind-the-scenes reason why Musk killed Dojo and why talent departures played a bigger role than most people realize. Now, let's talk about money and logistics, the practical side of why Dojo didn't survive. Elon Musk isn't just a visionary, he's also painfully aware of costs. Dojo was ambitious, yes, but building and scaling a custom supercomputer isn't cheap. Hundreds of millions were already invested, and while the tech looked impressive on paper, the question became, was it worth tying up so much cash and manpower when other options were faster, cheaper, and proven? Tesla's AI roadmap is massive. Full self-driving, robo-taxis, Optimus robots, all of these demand high-performance chips and massive data processing. But the reality is, the company already had functioning AI training systems powered by NVIDIA GPUs. In other words, Tesla could achieve its AI goals without DOJO. That makes continuing the project not just risky, but financially questionable. Musk's public posts hinted at this. He framed the move as strategic, but underneath it was also about operational efficiency. Experts note that splitting resources between DOJO and AI6 chips would have slowed everything down. Training a supercomputer from scratch isn't like upgrading a laptop. It requires specialized engineers, custom hardware, and months of fine-tuning. With key talent leaving for startups like Density AI, the risk of delays skyrocketed. From a financial perspective, Pouring more into Dojo when AI6 could handle both inference and training just didn't make sense. This decision also reflects Tesla's broader operational approach. Prioritize projects that have immediate value while cutting experiments that drain resources. Musk's focus on AI6 wasn't only about technology, it was about scaling Tesla's AI ambitions efficiently. The move reassures investors that funds are going to projects that deliver measurable results, not just hype. In short, Dojo's shutdown was as much about balancing the books as it was about technical strategy. It shows Musk is willing to kill a high-profile project if it doesn't make financial or operational sense. But there's more to the story. The full picture of why Dojo really ended goes beyond money, into the people, the engineering, and the evolving AI ecosystem. Next, we'll explore the hidden human factor, how talent departures played a critical role in Dojo's collapse, and why that might reveal the real reason Elon Musk pulled the plug. Even though Elon Musk officially pulled the plug on DOJO, its impact is far from gone. Think of Dojo not as a failed project, but as a stepping stone that shaped Tesla's AI path. The lessons learned, the engineers trained, the hardware experiments, all of it laid the groundwork for AI6 and Tesla's broader AI strategy. Dojo might not be powering supercomputers today, but its DNA lives on in the chips that now run in every Tesla vehicle and in the AI system supporting FSD and Optimus. Interestingly, some of Dojo's former engineers didn't disappear. They've moved on to new ventures like Density AI, 
bringing their expertise to other parts of the AI ecosystem. In a way, Dojo's shut down seeded innovation outside Tesla too, proving that even a dead project can influence the industry in unexpected ways. Analysts note that the architecture and thinking behind Dojo informed Tesla's current AI priorities, allowing Musk to double down on projects that are immediately practical and scalable. What's really fascinating is how Musk framed this transition publicly. By positioning Dojo as a stepping stone rather than a complete failure, he maintained confidence in Tesla's AI vision while quietly consolidating resources around AI6. Investors and insiders alike can see that the core ideas behind DOJO, efficient chip design, scalable AI architecture, and high-performance training aren't lost. They've just evolved into tools that are more strategically aligned with Tesla's long-term goals. So, Dojo's legacy is subtle but significant. It shaped the engineers, influenced chip design, and set the stage for AI6 and Tesla's ongoing AI dominance. The supercomputer may no longer exist in the physical sense, but its spirit and innovations are very much alive, driving the company forward. And now, as we reach the final chapter, we'll reveal the real, underlying reason Elon Musk killed Dojo, what he hasn't fully told the public, and why this decision might make more sense than anyone realized. So, what really drove Elon Musk to shut down DOJO? Let's break it down. On the surface, Musk framed it as a strategic pivot, consolidating AI efforts around the new AI6 chips. But the deeper story involves a mix of talent loss, technical limitations, and financial reality. Key members of the Dojo team, including Peter Bannon, left for new ventures like Density AI, leaving a gap that was hard to replace. Dojo's training-focused chips and architecture weren't aligning with Tesla's immediate needs for scalable, in-vehicle AI. In other words, the hardware was brilliant on paper but increasingly impractical for the next phase of Tesla's AI vision. Then there's the financial side. Building and scaling Dojo required massive investment, hundreds of millions just for hardware deployment and operations. Musk's pivot to AI6 meant Tesla could get more AI power, more versatility, and more efficiency while partnering with companies like Samsung, NVIDIA, and AMD. That approach reduced risk, cut costs, and accelerated the roadmap for self-driving vehicles and Optimus robots. Experts argue that Dojo wasn't a failure. It was a necessary experiment that taught Tesla what worked, what didn't, and how to optimize chip design for inference and general AI tasks. DOJO created a knowledge base, trained engineers, and pushed the limits of custom AI hardware. But with AI6, Musk saw a way to achieve the same goals faster and with fewer headaches. It was less about shutting something down and more about evolving Tesla's AI strategy into something immediately actionable. Ultimately, the real reason Musk killed DOJO boils down to one simple principle, focus and efficiency. Tesla needed a path forward that made sense operationally, financially, and technologically. Dojo's legacy continues in the form of AI6, shaping Tesla's AI ecosystem more quietly but far more effectively. And while this explains the major factors, one question remains. What might Tesla have gained if Dojo had survived, and could elements of it still resurface in future projects? That's a story that's only just beginning. So, where does this leave Tesla after the DOJO shutdown? For CEO Elon Musk, Killing Dojo wasn't the end of AI ambitions, it was a reset. By focusing on AI6 chips and strategic partnerships, Tesla is positioning itself to scale AI in a way that's faster, more efficient, and more practical for real-world applications. Self-driving vehicles, robo-taxi networks, and Optimus robots all benefit from this approach because the new chips can handle both training and inference without the huge overhead Dojo demanded. Experts point out that Tesla's pivot shows a shift from experimental, high-risk hardware to solutions that are immediately usable. It's about getting results on the road, literally, rather than pouring endless resources into building a supercomputer that might never reach full potential. Musk has demonstrated before that he's willing to abandon a project if it slows down progress toward broader goals, and this is no different. The lesson here is that Tesla's AI future is now more focused and pragmatic. The knowledge and experience gained from Dojo haven't vanished. They're embedded in AI6, in Tesla engineers' expertise, and in the company's strategy for scaling autonomous systems. The company can now deploy AI faster, adapt software updates more efficiently, and push towards fully autonomous driving with a leaner, more versatile infrastructure. In short, Dojo may be gone, but its influence remains. Tesla's AI journey is far from over. It's evolving. Musk's bold decision shows that sometimes, stepping back from an ambitious project isn't failure. It's a calculated move to ensure the bigger vision actually happens.